Hi, everybody. My name is Andy Hawk. I'm the head of product for Cerebra Systems, a computer systems company that's building a new type of processor and new class of computer system to accelerate artificial intelligence by orders of magnitude beyond what's possible with legacy general purpose processors. I'm talking today about wafer scale AI for science and HPC. First of all, I'd like to thank hosts of ISC and this virtual workshop on machine learning hardware for AI. To begin, we have a tremendous opportunity from fundamental physics to energy, environment, and human health. Researchers are continuing to make progress with large neural network models, and large data sets to demonstrate the mass potential that AI has for science and HPC. The challenge is that neural network compute presents a unique set of characteristics, a massive number of sparse linear algebra operations, high communication requirements, and requirements for high bandwidth that are all challenging for legacy general purpose processors. It's not uncommon for training of state-of-the-art models with large data sets to take days or weeks of compute time, even on very capable clusters of graphics processing units. This long training time is inefficient, expensive, and constrains innovation. So what we see is that while there's tremendous potential for AI for science, it is bound by today's computing infrastructure. So what do we need? Particularly for AI and HPC, we need massive compute, faster wall clock training and inference time. We need a machine that's programmable with today's tools and has the ability to be optimized and extended with a set of development kits, debug tools, and other software. And we need physical systems that can be integrated with state-of-the-art HPC clusters and scientific instrument facilities. In order to enable all of this together, and the acceleration of orders of magnitude to take us from days or weeks of training time down to minutes or hours, we at Cerebrus assert that we need a fundamentally new solution for AI compute. That's where our company comes in. Cerebrus is a computer systems company based in Silicon Valley in California. We were founded in 2016 by an experienced and innovative founding team of microprocessor architects, systems engineers, and technology leaders that have been inventing, designing, and delivering high-performance computing processors and solutions into data centers for more than 20 years. We set out on a mission to build systems that fundamentally accelerate and change the compute landscape for AI by accelerating this work, not just a little bit, but by a lot. With that big vision and capable team, we secured some smart and strategic funding from investors here in Silicon Valley. And since 2016, we've grown our team at Cerebrus to more than 200 world-class engineers across hardware engineering, software engineering, and machine learning research. Together, we have built a complete AI compute solution for artificial intelligence at HPC scale. The solution has three elements. One, a unique and massive high performance processor that supports training and inference with orders of magnitude performance gain beyond existing systems. Two, a software stack that's designed from the ground up to meet users where they are, minimizes the number of changes that we ask them to make and allows this device to be programmable as a single node with standard frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch in use by data scientists and machine learning researchers today. 
Three, a system that is designed to seamlessly fit into modern research laboratory clusters or supercomputer scale facilities, replacing racks of equipment with a single server. This is straightforward to deploy based on existing standards and can be orchestrated with standard frameworks. The foundational element of the system is a processor that we designed and built. It's the world's largest computer chip and the most powerful processor available for AI. We call this chip the Cerebrus Wafer Scale Engine. It's shown here on the left with the largest GPU built previously next to it for scale. The Wafer Scale Engine is nearly 60 times larger than the largest chip built previously with more than 78 times the number of cores, more than 3,000 times the on-chip memory, and more than 10,000 times the memory bandwidth and communication bandwidth of those traditional processors. It is an eight and a half inch by eight and a half inch monolith of silicon with 400,000 cores, 18 gigabytes of on-chip SRAM and 100 petabit per second interconnected in a high bandwidth, low latency, configurable two-dimensional interconnect mesh all on chip. This is an optimized architecture for deep learning compute. First and foremost, deep learning requires massive compute resources. The wafer scale engine delivers the compute resources for deep learning of a cluster of traditional engines, all on a single device. Its individual processing elements or cores are optimized for neural network primitives. They are flexible and programmable, allowing us to support an evolving range of neural network architectures. And the core architecture itself is multiple instruction, multiple data, data flow architecture, with the ability to automatically detect and set aside multiply by zero operations, thus harvesting sparsity in an architecture that's designed to handle the sparse compute tasks that are native to neural network training and inference. All of our memory on the wafer scale engine is on-chip SRAM, 18 gigabytes of on-chip SRAM, accessible by its associated compute element in a single clock cycle to enable efficient local access for stored model weights and activations in compute and give the data path of those compute elements full performance from memory. Each core is connected to its four nearest neighbors in a high bandwidth, low latency interconnect mesh. The data path through that mesh and networking on chip is configurable at compile time by the user and allows for efficient and fast layer-to-layer -layer communication. Together, this collection of architectural attributes unlocks not just accelerated training and inference for neural networks today, but new methods such as model parallel execution on chip and full utilization of the device for training and inference down to batch size one. The next element of our solution is a software platform that's designed to make the wafer scale engine easy to use with today's programming tools. The software stack has one principal task, which is to automatically compile a user's training or inference program from common ML framework like TensorFlow as an executable that can run on our device automatically. This happens in four principal steps. Step one, our software extracts a representation of the training or inference compute graph and translates that graph into an intermediate representation called LAIR. This intermediate representation is effectively the top of our software stack and represents to the rest of the compiler the compute operations required at each layer of the neural network graph and the communication pattern between those layers. Step two, our software automatically matches a high performance software kernel from our library to each and every layer of the compute graph. Here, a kernel 
is a high performance microcode implementation of a common deep learning op, such as convolution for a computer vision CNN, or maybe LSTM for a natural language processing RNN, or other types of deep learning operations. That kernel representation of the compute graph expresses compute requirements, memory requirements, and communication requirements to the downstream elements of our compiler, which then allocate compute and memory for each and every layer of the user's neural network on the chip at one time, such that all layers of a user's neural network are computed simultaneously on the wafer scale engine. And the data flow pattern between those layers is configured with our on-chip network by the compiler at compile time, according to the user's program. Finally, step four, that execution plan, including layout and configuration of our on-chip network is linked to our device as an executable. In addition to this primary compilation path, we also have a set of lower level APIs as well as a software development kit that we're building to allow users to develop their own custom kernels or optimize existing kernels to optimize performance or to build their own custom ops for a custom deep learning application or even for applications beyond deep learning into HPC, such as operations for molecular dynamics simulations or computational fluid dynamics. The third element of our solution beyond the wafer scale engine and the Cerebrus software stack is the system, the Cerebrus CS1. Once we arrived upon the wafer scale engine as the right processor solution for AI, we could not rely upon existing commodity technologies to package power, cool, deliver data to that massive engine. So we had to take a systems view of the solution and built a server and a chassis around that wafer scale engine in a package that's easy to deploy, operate, and maintain in the data centers of today. This is a 15 standard RU chassis, so 15 rack units, tall, approximately 26 inches, we take 20 kilowatts of power through standard connections. And we readily integrate with existing HPC cluster systems and networking through 12 standard 100 gigabit ethernet IO for a total system level IO of 1.2 terabits per second. The system can be exposed and orchestrated with standard frameworks such as Slurm. And in addition, the single system, while it replaces multiple racks or clusters of existing processors, single systems can also be clustered together to achieve much, much larger scale or much, much faster training times in either data parallel or model parallel configurations. This solution has a collection of value propositions that I think are important for HPC and AI for science. The first is the delivery of performance that translates into orders of magnitude acceleration and wall clock training time. Training models in minutes or hours that previously took days or weeks. From a researcher perspective, what this translates to is the ability to conduct more experiments per unit time to arrive on a better solution faster or employ larger data sets with their models today to achieve greater accuracy and a higher fidelity model representation of the real world phenomenon that it represents. Or for deployed models, the ability to retrain at higher cadence so that the user's model better represents the data that it's exposed to. Additionally, this performance translates to orders of magnitude, higher throughput and lower latency inference. Think inference for large models on the order of microseconds rather than milliseconds. HPC 
and AI for science. This translates into the ability to accelerate and improve throughput for simulations based on AI that are used to augment traditional physics-based engines. Or a device such as ours could serve as a high-performance inference engine for scientific instrument facilities such as telescopes, scanning electron microscopes, or light sources. And last but not least, we built this platform not just to accelerate the neural network architectures and models of today, but fundamentally as a flexible compute engine to enable research into new types of neural network architectures, new ML methods and algorithms that may not be practical or efficient or possible on legacy general purpose architectures. So in conclusion, First, I'd like to thank once again the hosts of ISC and the ML Hardware Workshop. It's a pleasure to speak with you today. I wish we could see each other in person, but I'm pleased to be here at this virtual event. And I'm proud to introduce uh, this workshop to this Rebris CS1, what we've built as the most powerful deep learning solution available today. This is built to accelerate the work that researchers like you are already doing to allow you to develop better solutions faster. The system at the right is one of the first systems that we deployed to one of our first publicly acknowledged customers, Argonne National Laboratories, a US Department of Energy supercomputing facility for scientific research. We have multiple systems such as this deployed and running customer workloads today, accelerating by multiple orders of magnitude their training jobs all the way from TensorFlow. In addition, expanding our partnerships and our work on AI for science with multiple partners across the Department of Energy and the National Science Foundation. As a final call to action, I say please reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, bring us your big and different problems and system and partnership interests. Um, we look forward to the opportunity to work together. Thanks once again. Take care.